Hello year one, welcome to your PSHE lesson, last lesson of the day and before we know it we'll be able to um, start relaxing, having a lovely weekend. So let's begin with our just checking questions to find out what we remember. So looking at last week, an obstacle is something that makes it harder to achieve a goal, true or false? It is true. And last unit, you can tell if someone is a bully just by looking at them, true or false? So that is false. Okay, bullying is about somebody's behaviour, it's not about how they look. So just because they've got their arms crossed and looking a little bit grumpy like this boy here, does not mean he's a bully. Okay, um, so let's remind ourselves what bullying behaviour is exactly. So key features of bullying are, so we've got an A or B option. Key features of bullying are A, it only happens once and can be accidental, or B, it is deliberate, so it happens on purpose and keeps happening. So A or B. It is B. For it to be bullying, it has to be um, nasty behaviour that's happening on purpose. Someone's doing it on purpose and they keep doing it. Okay, if it only happens once, although it might not be very kind and it might be upsetting to the person, that is just one time, it's just being uh, being mean, being unkind. For it to be bullying, it has to keep happening. And um, it can't be accidental because we all make mistakes. We all um, have accidents and it doesn't mean that um, you're bullying. So bullying has to be deliberate and it has to be something that keeps happening over time. And then a question from last year, if someone else wants to play with a toy you have, you should keep it to yourself because you had it first. True or false? So hopefully you said false. Okay, the kind thing to do would be to do what? To share, exactly. Okay, so today we're learning to identify what being proud means. So our success criteria, we, first we need to understand the difference between pride and boasting. And then can you identify things that make you proud? So our vocabulary, some of it's already um, familiar to us. Can you remember what this word says? So use your sounds. Challenge, that means a difficult task or problem. Then succeed or success means to achieve something. And then our vocabulary for today in particular, proud or pride means feeling pleased with your own or someone else's achievements. So you can be proud of yourself and you can be proud of other people as well. Okay, so time for our calm me time now. So can you pause the screen here and just remember to take some deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. You can continue doing this for as long as you need to until your body and your mind feel calm and ready to learn. Okay, so what does pride mean then? So pride or the feeling of being proud means having a feeling of worth because you've achieved or done something. It's a positive feeling and makes you feel good about yourself. So we can feel proud when we complete a challenge, when we recognize a strength, so recognize something that we're good at, when we achieve a goal or when we do a good deed to help somebody. Those are all times that we can feel proud. So when have you felt proud of yourself? It might help to think about your strengths. It might be about your character and um, what kind of person you are, your skills, things you can do, physical strengths that you can, um, that you've, yeah, physical strengths or things that you've achieved physically. Um, or here are some examples for you. So I am proud because I care for the environment. I'm proud because I can write great stories. 
I'm proud because I can hit a tennis ball across the net. I'm proud because I made a 3D shape from Play-Doh. So those are all little examples. Can you pause here to think of something that you um, are proud of? Lovely. Okay. So how does being proud make you feel? Does it make you feel happy, motivated, like you want to keep going? Does it make you feel helpful? Does it make you feel incredible? How does being proud make you feel? Pause here and have a think about your feelings of being proud. So now we're thinking about the difference between being proud and being boastful. So we all feel proud of different things and it's important that we have respect for everyone's achievements and celebrate when they feel proud too. But if we show off or brag, it can hurt, hurt people's feelings. Um, but pride should make you feel good inside. It shouldn't make other people feel bad. That's when pride turns into boasting. So can you help now? This is our little activity. Um, can you help by deciding which characters are being proud and which are being boastful and thinking about how we know the difference? So we'll read through what each character is saying to find out if they're being proud or being boastful. So Laura Leadership says, we won because I scored the most points today. Is that being proud or is that being boastful? And when being boastful can hurt other people's feelings or make other, make other people feel bad. So we won because I scored the most points today. Is that proud or is it boastful? So I think Laura Leadership is being a little bit boastful there because think about the other people on her team. They might be thinking, oh, so I didn't help the team to win. That makes me feel really upset. So Laura's comments about her scoring the most points and being the reason they won, that's boastful, isn't it? Making other people feel bad. Let's have a look at Ollie organization. So Ollie's saying, I'm the best at trampolining, better than anyone at our school. Is that being proud or is that being boastful? Pause to have a think. So again, I think Ollie is being quite boastful because everyone else at the school might be thinking, oh, he thinks he's better than me at trampolining. I thought I was okay at trampolining, but obviously not. And so he'd be making other people feel bad. We don't want that. It's being boastful. Let's have a look at Raj Resilience. He's saying, I won a surf competition and want to show the class my certificate. Is that being proud or being boastful? So Raj is just being proud. He wants to share something that's made him proud of himself. He's not saying he's better than anybody at surfing. He's not being mean or saying anything that's going to make anyone feel bad. He just wants to show everybody what he has done. And that is perfectly fine to be proud of your achievements. Okay, Izzy Initiative is saying, I think my model is better because I worked the hardest. What do we think? It's quite a tricky one. Is that proud or boastful? Okay, I think Izzy is being quite boastful because she says she worked the hardest, but she doesn't know that she worked the hardest. She's just um, making an assumption that somebody else might have tried really hard and it might not be quite as good as hers, but they still tried their hardest and that's the most important thing. So Izzy saying, I worked the hardest, might make other people feel bad because they are thinking, actually, I work really hard. So she's being boastful. And then Charlie Communication is saying, I'm so happy I finally got a sticker on my chart. Is Charlie being proud or boastful? OK, 
he is being proud exactly he's just sharing that he's really pleased with himself for getting a sticker on his chart he's not making anybody feel bad or making anyone feel like he's better than them he's just being proud so to reflect i'd like you to focus on your achievements that make you feel proud because that will increase your confidence and keep your focus more on the positives and less on the negatives. So it's really important to think about the things that you feel proud about and not think about things that you are not so proud of. And when you go to bed tonight, think about the thing you did today that made you feel proud. So focusing specifically on today. And then hopefully that'll put you in a really nice frame of mind ready for the weekend. Okay, have a lovely weekend, everybody. And we'll see you on Monday.